the upper half, taking the stride out of the equation. Uh, so you're going to start off here with this one with your feet roughly shoulder width apart, toes pointed forward, facing your target. And you want a slight bend in your knees here. You don't want to be too stiff. So you want to have some freedom to move side to side here as you throw. Um, if you're too locked out, you're going to be too stiff. You're not going to get much out of it. So you want your glove uh, in front of your chest here, hands together. And you're going to start by breaking your hands as you turn and get closed off to your target. At the same time, you're going to begin raising your elbows to roughly shoulder height. This is the hip to shoulder separation or torque part of the drill. Then from there, you're going to roll your glove, bring your, your glove elbow down towards your hip as you turn and throw. And for more on this, you can read the article I wrote at betterpiction.com. Control your glove kind of goes into explaining the difference between um, controlling your glove and bringing your chest to your glove. Um, you don't want to be yanking your glove off to the side or letting that glove drop down, but at the same time, I'm not a big fan of the cue, bring your chest to your glove, um, for a number of reasons that I explained in that article. Um, so for that reason, the emphasis here is on good trunk rotation. And that's really what we want to emphasize, so make sure you're finishing your throw, getting all the way through it. I like to think about replacing my front shoulder with my throwing shoulder here. Make sure you're not leaning too far side to side here as you throw too. That's another thing I tend to see when people are first learning the drill, that you want to make sure you correct. Um, you don't want to have too much what they call lateral tilt or side to side movement. Keep your head fairly steady and just rotate and throw around your head. And the torque and turns are a good drill to start out with at the beginning of your throwing progression to focus on getting your arms in sync and throwing with good trunk rotation.